What's up guys and the iPhone 12 leaks are back. Apple has something insanely powerful cooking this year but there is a major L that Apple has taken once again. In the past couple of months we have heard that iPhone 12 series will have a smaller notch but turns out Apple will be using the same notch that they introduced on the iPhone 10 series back in 2017 on this year's iPhone 12 models. The leaked display part has confirmed the size of the notch and uh, will it matter definitely for some people who want the most bezel-less design and the higher refresh rate displays. In case you're living under the rock, the 2020 standard for a flagship smartphone is a 1440p 120Hz display. We have it from Oppo, OnePlus, Samsung. All the major players have this, of course, with the punch hole design. But Apple, on the other hand, are not only sticking with the notch, but also 60Hz refresh rate. Now, Apple knows the market, and this is exactly why they have lined up the pricing of the iPhone 12 models this year. This is exactly why they have introduced two non-pro models instead of just one. They're counting more on these affordable iPhone 12 models compared to the Pro series because these could actually be the most best-selling phones out there. As we have seen a sales report via media that iPhone 11 still tops the best sales chart. Because of this success, they realize the potential of what they can bring to the table with the affordable iPhone 12 price. According to the latest pricing, it seems that the iPhone 12, the 5G model, might be a little bit more expensive than the previously leaked price so it could start at $699 all the way up to $1100 for the Pro Max. Now we may still have the same notch but Apple is said to bring slimmer bezels than the current iPhone 11 Pro lineup and they are also said to bring a iPhone 5 style stainless steel design a bit boxy side which will feel super premium in hand. Apple has also changed the camera arrangement a bit as well according to the latest leak. This is how the LiDAR sensor could look on the final model. It's a bit smaller on the side and apparently the LiDAR sensor could also be present on the non-pro iPhone 12 models which is a nice thing to see. I'm really looking forward to see what this will bring to the table when it comes to the photos. According to a Twitter leaster, Apple's LiDAR sensor will have special features that will assist in photography and it may not be available readily on launch. It could be something they will introduce with the iOS 14.1 update. This is the similar thing Apple did with the iPhone 11 Pro lineup with their deep fusion update on the iOS 13.2. As for the actual camera sensor, Apple is still sticking to a 12 megapixel sensor but reportedly a new sensor with better optics. Apple has tested a 64 megapixel sensor but the results weren't satisfying so they are sticking with a fast autofocusing 12 megapixel sensor. As always we can definitely see huge improvements to the video performance as well as the rumored astrophotography mode. So once again the same notch design but you're getting the most powerful compact phone in the world at $699 thanks to the Apple A14 which is going to be a monster processor taking the iPhone 12 lineup to a whole new level. The 865 Plus inside the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra just barely matches the A13 so the A14 will bring the gap to an even next level. This is one of the reasons why Samsung is reportedly spending billions of dollars in order to surpass Apple and Qualcomm in the next 10 years when it comes to the processor race but Apple is currently on a whole new level it's gonna be very hard for Samsung to match this performance. According to the league the CPU gains can be 40% more than the Apple A13 chip. At the same time, we can have up to 50% GPU gains. That is a serious increase in horsepower. The A14 is also a 5 nanometer processor, so in addition to be super powerful, it's also going to be a lot more efficient compared to the 7 nanometer Apple A13. Apple is so powerful that they're bringing these chips to their MacBooks. Yes, we are talking desktop level performance. There might be an A14 x later on or something even more powerful but inside the iphone it's just going to be really really overpowered one thing where apple will absolutely take advantage of this a14 chip is when it comes to the video performance we've heard that 4k 120 fps is something that apple can bring with a much higher dynamic range i mean these videos can look really really good compared to the competition now another report claims that next year it's almost confirmed that apple will be using 120 hertz ltpo oled panel from samsung as will other brands right now it is exclusive 
exclusive to the Note 20 Ultra. It is adaptive and highly power efficient. It's one of the reasons why Apple didn't do 120Hz on the iPhone 12 lineup. So this is something that we're going to see next year, most likely on the iPhone 13. And finally, regarding the launch, we have a very interesting news that says that Apple might be launching the iPhone 12 in two parts. The 6.1 inch models may arrive a little bit earlier than the 6.7 inch and the highly anticipated 5.4 inch model. Apple has already confirmed on record that this year's models could be delayed till October. And finally, as reported by Everything Apple Pro, Apple is bringing some magnets to the iPhone 12 chassis. So this is going to be for reverse wireless charging. It's also going to make the new iPhone 12 compatible with some of the wireless charging accessories that Apple will make available later down the year. So that's all the latest news regarding the iPhone 12 series. Unfortunately, the notch is here, but it's still going to be affordable as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and don't forget to enter the Mega Galaxy Buds Live giveaway. All the rules for that is in the description. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.